Hello guys, I am Riya and we are watching Riya's Dream Garden. This is the mid of July and it is fully rainy season. Now, this is the big question that is it the right time to reporting the plants? Because some people think that in this time reporting causes fungal attack or root rotting. So in this video, I am going to discuss about reporting about some plants on my garden in monsoon and I will discuss about some mistakes which new gardeners always do. First of all, I will start with apple pear plant. This plant I have purchased 2 years ago from nursery. I have planted it in 8 inches clay pot and I was waiting when monsoon will come and I will report it. This is the 12 by 12 geofabric grow bag and for planting in this I will use the same soil mix and I will mix 1 kg of vermi compost in it. I will never apply anything because applying excessive fertilizer can cause root rot and fungal disease in monsoon. Apple bear plant requires bright in direct light but not direct sunlight and always keep the soil consistently moist but not waterlogged and the apple bear plants prefers high humidity so mix the leaves regularly and feed with the balanced fertilizer during the growing season and also regular pruning of the plant encourages bushy growth and prevents legginess. Now you can see this is the situation of my plants after reporting. Now the second plant is Bougainvillea which is a white variety. It looks amazing when it blooms. I have purchased this plant two months ago and now it's time to report. For that I have taken 60% of garden soil, 20% of vermicompost and 20% of neem cake powder. And for reporting, I will use the plant to report in 6 inches clay pot. When I will notice that the root bound is starting, then I will report it in 10 to 12 inches pot. Always keep it in mind that you should avoid reporting the bougainvillea plant during the plant's dormant season that is in winters and always prune the plant after reporting to maintain shape and encourage new growth. Bougainvillea plant doesn't need much watering during rainy season so avoid overwatering, which can lead to root rot. And if possible, move your plant to a covered area to prevent excessive rain from damaging the plant. After reporting, I will apply water and then I will keep it in semi-shady area for 2 days. Now the third plant is one of my favorite indoor plant which is spider plant. After taking it from the nursery, I didn't report it so I thought to report it now. For that, I have taken a plastic container with drainage holes in it. And this process, you all know that if you want, then you can skip. For the potting media, I have taken equal amount of cocoa pit and vermicompost. Cocoa pit will maintain the moisture of the plant. And if you want, you can also use little bit of neem cake powder during the repotting. Neem cake powder will work as antifungal property. There is always a myth that indoor plant should be kept in the room. In fact, in my experience, I can say that you should keep it in indirect sunlight so that I will keep my plants after reporting in the semi shaded area. Spider plants are great air purifiers. 
which remove harmful toxin from the air and they are very easy to propagate by dividing the plantlets that grow on the end of their stems and when reporting the plant always handle it with care and gently remove the plant from its pot taking care not to damage the roots or leaves and the spider plants are fast growing and can produce new plantlets very quickly and they also have been used in traditional medicine for various ailments including burn wounds and digestive issues and now i will report my curry leaf plant when i purchased it was a little plant and now it has become a small tree so i thought why not this plant because it is one of my favorite plant in my garden and it doesn't need any special care so i will report in this 30 liter oil drum and i didn't use any fertilizer on the soil because in rain water already have enough nutrition to develop a plant after reporting a curry leaf plant proper care is crucial for its healthy growth and development water your curry leaf plant thoroughly after reporting and then reduce watering to once a week make sure the water is moist but not water locked and provide bright indirect sunlight because direct sunlight can cause leaf scorch and curry leaf plant can grow up to 6 feet tall so prune regularly to maintain a desired height and now it's time to report the almond plant i have purchased it from my nearest nursery one month ago this is the purple variety and it is one of my favorite variety and the soil mix i have taken as same as bougainvillea this plant is also known as purple trumpet vine or purple almonda it produces bright purple trumpet shaped flowers with a yellow throat it can grow up to 20 feet tall making it a great option for us it attracts hummingbirds and butterflies and has medicinal properties used in traditional medicine in brazil and now my last plant in my today's list is sylvania plant which i have recently added in my garden few years ago and i have already uploaded about this video but for my lack of care this plant died so i bought a new plant This plant is awesome for the new gardeners. In this season, I have reported it in normal soil mix and didn't add any kind of fertilizer to the soil. For getting flowers within winter, we should start reporting from now. Sisbenia is a beautiful fast-growing plant with stunning white, pink or red flowers and they can stay up to full sunlight to partial shade. and regular watering is required but allow soil to dry dry slightly between the waterings and if you want to know about sylvania plant care in details then you can watch the video by clicking on the i button so guys how did you like my today's video do comment and let me know and also don't forget to like and share the video Have a good day